Hello everyone, I'm Tom with Stock Navigator and this is the mark, uh, weekly market forecast for the week of uh, June, uh, first week of June 2022. As you can see that uh, on the uh, last couple of days the market did be able to gain some momentum after they filed the strong support here, they put it up, up to the upside. So at this moment, we do monitor carefully to see the market be able to put it back up. In the upside, we do have a lot of resistance uh, on the upside. Technically, we are still low high, low low to the downside. But if the market be able to find the bottom in the next couple of weeks here, we need to get more momentum. They either need to break out the downtrend line here and get up to the top here, come back retest so that we can see that they will be able to file the support and then we can say that they can bottom out and then push it back up to the upside. But uh, in the short term, the market is, is, is very strong, uh, powerful move back up. And with a lot of stuff, it, it kind of bottom out and then they try to put it back up. They will have a lot of the index, the SP 500, and continue to uh, put it up to the upside in the short term. So we will be monitored carefully and we will inform you to see how the structure move up here, how it lay out, so that we can tell the market is bottom out or that's yet another a rebound and like this section and continue to go lower okay so um, uh, let's see how the layout if you look at the um, nap deck it also the last three days it, it be able to break out and then uh, 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 the momentum is start turning to the positive side so we're still looking for uh, some more movement here on the way up we still we have a, a long downtrend line here uh, at the resistance in the upside the Dow is uh, pretty strong also, they follow support and continue to push it back up. So we do have more resistance uh, into the upside. So overall, it, okay, all of the index is still uh, choppy here, but uh, let's see how they are. If we be able to come back to the top, they need to clear up a lot of down resist, down line, uh, down trend line here in order to move higher. Uh, if you look at the Russell 2000, we see a container of uh, uh, 2000 small, uh, uh, the, the, the small cap stock. They continue to put it higher, but again, we still have a lot of resistance on the downtrend line here. So let's see the next couple of weeks here, the market be able to file some support here, and if we can clear up uh, a bunch of resistance on the top, then we can tell that the market is bottom out or not. But if you look at the volatility index, it continues to go down, like we told you during the week last week. If this one continues to go down, okay, the fear index continues to go down, momentum is continues to go down, they will have the market to buy back up. Uh, if you look at the 10 year uh, treasury note, it also uh, fell uh, from the top level here at 31, 36, and continue to push it down. So at this moment, everything is still going down. So that will uh, cool down the interest rate a little bit. So it will help some sector that's affected by the interest rate also. Now, if you look at the, um, uh, the cool oil, the cool oil still continue to break out and go higher. So energy, uh, especially oil, is still uh, find a way to put it up to the upside. Gold is still sideways, choppy here, but momentum has turned up a little bit positive here. So if they can clear the resistance level here, they will continue to get up there. Now, if you look at the um, the euro, it also uh, at the resistance line. So this is important. If they're able to go higher, they have to stay above the downtrend line here, continue to put it back up. If they fail to break this level here, they can pull back down again. Now, if you look at the um, uh, the, the Bitcoin. Bitcoin also turned around uh, on Friday, so they found some support. The first time momentum able to flip to the positive side. So in the short term, we're looking for uh, some rebound up here as well as the Ethereum also. So the Ethereum is, is not there yet, but they probably build up some momentum for tomorrow so that they can uh, punch to this area here and get it up also. Now let's take a look on 11 sector of the SP 500. Uh, the XLB, like I told you, the uh, material sector is very strong. Last week, the breakout downtrend line continues to put it back up to the upside, as you can see there. The communication it also gives you a first buy signal on the um, uh, on Friday, 
So that's a short term uh, uh, rebound also. The energy is continues to push it up. Momentum is still stay strong to the upside as you can see here. Everything is, is turned to the upside there. The financial is also a uh, rebound in the last three days. As you can see, they continue to put it up to the upside. Momentum will flip back to the positive side, but they still have a strong resistance on the, the downtrend line there. The uh, industrial also uh, give a first rebound by signal on, sat on, on uh, Friday. So we try to look for the next level of resistance uh, on, on the top there, okay? Uh, the technology also uh, give a first rebound by signal on Friday. So uh, let's see how far they can go. Uh, the consumer table, they, they bow pretty high at a support, but they still have a big problem with this line here. So the momentum has not flipped to the positive yet. So they still have some problem here. Okay. The utility that I told you last week, if they be able to break this level here, they will continue to put it to the upside. So they go sideways for choppy for a couple of weeks here and now. They will be able to break out and continue to put it up to the upside. The real estate is also uh, get benefit from the, uh, the uh, 10 year treasury note continue to go down. So they help the sector to uh, bow back up from the bottom here. The uh, SUV with the healthcare sector continue to uh, rumble up to the upside as you can see here. The last four or five day momentum is shipped to the positive as you can see there. The XLY with the, the consumer discretionary is also file support and they give you a first buy uh, a signal on the rebound on Friday. So uh, the momentum is if they can continue to go up, they will have to retest the downtrend line here also. Okay, so uh, you know that trading is a very risky business if you don't know how to read the check and understand the technical analysis and you don't have a good money management then it, it's a painful for you to sit through the market for the last five months it, it, if you try to buy and hold that's why it, you need to learn how to read the check and then uh, you can trade them okay either in the upside or the downside but that's the only way that you can survive in this volatile market. Okay, so, uh, so, so very important because a lot of people, they buy on the top in the last five months there. They look at all the stuff, they all just go to the bottom. It's, it's very risky, so don't fall in love with the stock market. You have to understand how to read the chat in order to survive. Okay, so um, now today, it, uh, uh, we only have one more day for the month of May and then we get to June. So I was going to show you uh, uh, three stock here that have a potential for you to take a look and for the short term bow back up to the upside. The first one is uh, MSFT uh, which is Microsoft. Microsoft have been coming down, they found a support. Momentum, they flip back on, on Thursday and Friday to the upside. Okay, if they can clear this downtrend line right here, we're looking for a short term uh, rebound back to the upside there. Uh, next one is the uh, UNH, okay, the United Healthcare. So this sector, the, the healthcare sector, is uh, also pretty strong, as you can I show you earlier. And this one here, they put it back, uh, they, they, they come back, they file a support, and they put back pretty strong. So this is another potential to put it back up to the upside. And the last one, that you can see that the financial sector is also uh, trying to rebound. And one of the strong stocks there, that's the uh, J.B. Morgan, J.P.M. So this one, it, they come down, they follow support, they break it out to a line. Momentum is took back up, so, uh, so as you can see, this one will continue to put it up to the upside. Okay, so... I think it, that all I have for you uh, uh, next week, and then let's see how the market lay out. And we have a short week because we're missing Monday, but uh, I think the market in the short term try to looking for rebound. So uh, not yet what I show you uh, here. A lot of stock at at their bottom out and looking for a short term rebound. And if you be able to pinpoint uh, uh, some of them. 
you can have a good rebound uh, to the upside okay so i think that's all i have for you uh, this week and i will update for you more detail during the week so that uh, uh, yet uh, uh, follow on my youtube and make sure don't forget to give me a thumb up and uh, i will see you in the next video take care everyone